Hi, this is uh, Priscilla Cordula from Oyashirola to our research. Mm, yeah, thank you very much. I really appreciate everyone that has been following us this, this day. And I say, Ishe Ile, Ishe Ile Iwa, Mo, Ishe Bota, Tiye Waba, unto everyone, to everyone, one of our listeners, uh, that is Api Sabat, in the name of Oyahua Shua. And our first thing, uh, like they, we change our banner, so our banner now is uh, the name of we are sure we don't want to use that. Uh, you're not using any image as our banner, but the name of Oyoyiwaha Jehovah himself. So, uh, yeah, quickly, uh, I'd like to uh, say something concerning the name of uh, Oyoyiwaha Jehovah. Uh, I remember the last teaching that I mentioned the old that is the full name of Oyoyiwaha is. Uyohiwaha uh, Jehovah, which Uyohiwaha means the creator of existence, the one who brought existence forth. And Jehovah means the one who sustains it, the one who keep who, who, who sustains it existence, it existence, the one who keeps it in existence. So that is Uyohiwa. Now he's not just the creator, but he's also the one who is sustaining, who is upholding it. As scripture say in aim all things are held together all things are held together so so now so there was a light that the a lot of understanding that the lord gave me so that i will be sharing now so now this is this is the way and this is what the understanding that when oyoiwa when oyoiwa creates a thing from nothing when it, it brought forth those things it brought forth the, those existence were brought forth by his spirit and they continue to exist by his spirit so it's actually his his embodiment his spirit that sustain those things that he brought forth for example the most minute of existence that are, let's say yeah bring forth the elements so the elements are being they are being sustained so it he is the one sustaining them. There is part of him. His existence is actually what is sustaining the elements. So he created them. But in creating them, he speaks his word and his spirit is released by his word. And they form those things. And they kept them. And his spirit remains in them for them to, to, to keep on being what they've, they've been converted to. So now, his spirit is upholding the elements. Now, when the elements now combine together to form other things, when he is when Uyoiwa is commanding the elements now to combine together and form other things. So now his spirit, that is another bread, another spirit from him, is going forth to maintain to ensure that this new order, this new creation, this new formation, level of what of movement comes to pass. So that is there's another there's another that is an order of another spirit binding the elements into other bigger molecules or to substance or whatever. So there's an, another existence of God upholding that, making that to be. And then so molecules then going into other bigger matters and whatever are also being what being sustained by Him. So each level, as what he, he is the one that as he is created, as he has created them from level to level. So what he is in them, sustaining them. So he is the creator. He speaks his word, and his spirit moved by his word create those things, and that spirit remains in them. So they keep on existing. So that is it, is Ojeowa, the one that allows them to continue to be. So, uh, and this, one other thing that the Ojeowa uh, opened my eyes to, so, so now, so this is what happened during the miracle of water to wine. Now, water, being water, is by Ojeowa. So he is the one, there's a presence of Ojeowa that was released to make water that is upholding water to be water upholding the molecules and everything to be as what water is so then when it was converted to wine so it is just that is the one 
the presence of God, the Jehovah that is upholding the water molecules, just needs to give back, just needs to go for the, the one that what that uphold a uh, wine just has to come in, and that is all from water to wine. Going from water to wine is the power of God at creation that created that form that forms and upholds the existence of water. And there's another power of God, which is the existence of God, that, up, that creates and that upholds the existence of wine. So now, so one going out and another coming in. So that is all. So water disappear, wine forms. So you just come in there and taking the moly or the molecules or whatever that are already in existence and then putting the, of course, we have other things around there, then bringing it to pass. For he is the creator. So this actually, this understanding will go a long way. If you can understand this truth, I think it's going to help us in our journey, in our relationship with Oyoiwa. Uh, yes, it's good to have, I know it's good to help. It's, Oyoiwa bringing it now, it shows that it's very, very important. It's very, very important. So that, so he's Ojewa, the kid is the one sustaining them. Now, we human beings, in the, the molecules of our body, are sustained our flesh and bones and all these things they are sustained by him by his presence by his spirit so immediately when the spirit departs at death it is what it decomposes before then it, it doesn't it does not decompose so that so they say is ojoa oyoiwa the creator and Ojoa, like it is the one upholding the existence of what he has created. And and yeah, there's a there's a lot of rem rem. There's a deeper rem to this thing. Like when God says, "Command ye me concerning the works of my hand." Command ye me concerning the works of my hand. So, he's telling us to command him. He is actually the one opposing those things. His hand is in them, upholding them. His spirit, as Ojewa, is in them, upholding their existence. So when we are speaking to those things, we are speaking to God. We are speaking to Him, Ojewa, as Ojewa. When we are speaking for things to turn around and become another thing, you are speaking to Ojewa, who is in them. For to bring about the turnaround. When they ask about the blind man and said who sin said no, it's for it's that the glory of Uyoiwa might be manifested through his son. So even that in, in that state of blindness, there is something upholding it. So in the state of blindness of that man, the power that's supposed to what to uphold the eyes is not there. So when he came, Jesus came, when he speaks, when he release, uh, when he did what he has to do, he has actually released eyes, the spirit, the spirit, the, he released the Ojoa that is responsible for the formation of the eyes. And then that is what happened, and that is why the eyes was formed. So the eyes came into being. So there is greater realm with these things. There's a greater realm with all these things. Oyoiwa is the one upholding the existence of all these things. He created them and then he opposed their existence. Even all these angels, the devil himself was made by him and he's also the one upholding their existence. So the Lucifer, the one we are waging, the one that is troubling humankind that does not want the glory of Oyoiwa to be revealed in us, but rather want himself to be revealed in us, is actually sustained his existence is by Oyoiwa. And, uh, and that is why we can rebook him. And that is why we can prevail over him. Because Oyoiwa has given us authority. Command me concerning the work of my hand. So when we bind, so 
we are, whatever you bound on earth is bound in heaven, whatever lose on earth is losing heaven. So that is why those things stand. Because Oyoewa is actually in all is in all his all existence as Ojewa. So when we speak, he brings those things to pass. Another scripture when he says, No way, he said he's the one that created the sword, he's the one the one that uh, created those that used to make sword. Then I said, No weapon fashion shall prosper against us shall prosper. So what is that? So he's the one, the is the owner of the matter. The molecule, the particles that made, what you call it is is one sustaining it. Those that want to fight it and do everything, he is the one sustaining their existence. So any of these things that he has created like expansion against you, it will not prosper. Because he, you, you are, he is in those things. The characteristics or the qualities of those things that the the quality those things has for which they are being fashioned to destroy. That quality, that characteristics in them that brings about destruction to women and to things, that characteristics is was sustained is being sustained by Uyoiwa himself. That's why I say he is the one that the destroyer is the one that made the destroyer. So Uyoi was the one sustaining the existence of all those things. But he said, but when those things that he, he is the one sustaining them, when they are fashioned against you, it will not prosper. Sorry. It will not prosper. So that is why. Is the one sustaining lion and its uh, ferocious things and away. But when lions were fashioned against Daniel, lion does not prosper. The ferocious, the ferociousness of lion fail. Because he is the one who put the whole thing that quality. So but when it comes to you, you that you are his beloved, uh <laughs> that thing will give way. That is the Jehovah, the ability of God sustain that ferociousness of lion. When he sees you, you know this one is my son. This is this is my this is my dwelling. This is my this is my house. This is my dwelling place. This is the house of my glory, ferociousness. There's no place for you there. Yeah. So the existence of God, because upholding the ferociousness, we what we stand aside for the full glory of God that is in us that we carry. So it is glory of God. We said a kingdom will not fight against fight against the kingdom will not fight against itself. So that's why the destroyer when the destroyer is fashioned against you, against us, it will not prosper. Because that what you call destroyer is actually being sustained by Uyoi himself. So now what is called witchcraft? Actually, in the ancient Hebrew, after well, it's called is a it is a that what's called witchcraft is always called that is a extreme knowledge is a extreme knowledge extreme knowledge casa imo casa imo casa uh, is a Yoruba word for extreme like it's uh, the extreme end of things casa uh, so now um also, uh, you will say kese kese leshiri eh, kasa kasa baba kese kese shimbo. That is the extreme depth, the extreme wickedness. It's talking about extreme, extreme wickedness, extreme something that is a depth. <laughs> so the so what is called witchcraft is actually extreme knowledge. Kasa imo, extreme knowledge. So uh, what we call witchcraft is actually some of the like. Uh, is more or less like is extreme knowledge that is is it kind of greater depth of science a depth of science that is more than what we have now a kind of depth of knowledge uh, science but that science is is by way superb than what we operate at this realm so actually uh, uh, this look at uh, as if there are the extreme science that, that were perfected before the world of Noah was, destro was destroyed, before the destruction of the world of Noah. Because in that world of Noah, they had uh, the angels, the corrupt angels, to bring knowledge, to help them to fast forward their knowledge and all those things then. So, there's, uh, so instead of just the physical uh, characteristics of things that we operate with now, so even though now our world we are trying to get to that realm, trying to 
and dabble into a lot, lot of things that are very greater and more uh, but we are still far from what those people have reached then so what to call witchcraft is actually is is extreme it's what to call extreme that is they are able to manipulate the uh, existence manipulate matter more than we are manipulating now yeah which we are manipulating matter to some realm but they are own they are, they are manipulating i do that extreme is that they are man this is greater level of manipulation that is they are it is, it is in that realm of knowledge they have reached they have almost reached they have reached the angelic realm that is because the angels that were available then were revealing the heavenly knowledge unto them so making it fast forward and so they they they, they, they bring the, the knowledge of like knowledge of the unseen the spirit realm because now the angels were in the garden to guard in the garden to guard the fruit of to, to get the fruit then later they basleded, uh, they started uh, going out with the women, uh, with the women, of, uh, with our women. But I look at it now, to whose advantage is actually the, bas the basleding of the angels? If the angels did not baslide, they will still remain in favor with Oyoiwa. They will remain in honor with Oyoiwa. They, they, yes, and they will like be master over women. They will still be master over women. So, um, but they will, they, they will retain their honor with Oyoiwa. They will retain their honor, they will retain their glory. Yeah, they, may, they will not have children, uh, but they will retain their honor and glory which they have with Oyoiwa. And, uh, and they will not be discarded. But when they basically dead, uh, and that means they will not share their knowledge, the knowledge of things they know with, with humankind. But in their basleading state, they share the knowledge they have with humanity. They share a lot of all those things with humanity, and they start sleeping with women, and uh, probably they will enjoy. Although if, if, if probably they will be drinking too and enjoying with men, they will enter entering agreement with uh, with men. And another thing that I think people have not really thought of is that then they must have given the fruit to what to women because that's the most important thing they were there to guide the fruit of life so that means they must have those who women uh though though we, we are always been looking at it as if uh, they are the one that lost and went after the children of women but let's look at that like, as the, in this other direction what of children of women women and children, men and women, planning to seduce the angels. Will go. They will. They will fall for you. Go, go, go. Just show your breast to them. Show your bum bum. Just, just move delicately. Let's see whether we can get these angels so that this fruit of life that our Adam and Eve could not get, because there's there's one thing that humanity has been looking for. Great is what people don't want to die. Even these days, people are still sciences are working at it. How to they want to they want to they want to sleep and wake up some hundred years to come because they want to see what will happen hundred years to come. We don't want to die. We are looking for a way to circumvent the pronunciation of death. So if we now, with our with that we don't have angels around and everything, we are looking for it. Sure, they that they were so close to the to the Adam and Eve era and they were, it was so real to them so it was more it will be more it will be more pressure on them that well can we break this thing can we break this thing of course they want to break it they want to break away from it so they could have seduced the angels too seduce the angels in the garden so let's look at and since they know the way their ladies they, they seduce them and mm -hmm. miss themselves the way ah see 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 you the way i see you, you know the the fantasizing and the way they see all those uh, the, the, all those men see what the body of their women can do to them so and uh, and so and knowing and that is the effect it has on adam too in the garden so now, so let's look at it. So they could have uh, allowed their ladies to to move. I said those are the have voluptuous size and uh, those are, yeah, um, allow them to move delicately before those angels, always going and patrolling where those angels are until those ones could not do anything but start thinking about these women. Because at the long run, when the bastard did, 
they have nothing they have no allegiance with Oyoiwa again they don't have to obey him again and they can easily get the fruit of life and give it to the children of men which will make them to live and not die so so looking at it i say more instead of saying uh, the angels uh, the bastard they left their state i think it's more like children of men looking for a way to break the law to break the embargo placed upon them the embargo of death the law of death seduced with their women going plan together to seduce those angels and those angels fell flat they fell flat to the children of men and probably they must have given some of those uh, tree of life and someone and release release everything in the garden every every other tree before the, formerly they had the tree of knowledge yes and now re, any other tree any other thing in the garden and even things knowledge they have those angels have from heaven they release everything release everything to the children of men when they are being seduced by children of women by the way i'm sorry but yeah by the children of men are the women so a woman could easily get get information get those things they started training men they started so all those things that they have they started sharing it with men so it's uh so so i think that is actually the okay uh, that is so that is very real that is very real more than just uh they are, they are angelic being and uh, if, if they don't see those women they don't they don't long for them and they were supposed to be in the garden so if they don't go out and they're in the garden around and so they are supposed to be in the garden and around the garden so but of course you know when children of women when, when humanity wants something they go for it or out for it so they must have been seduced they must have seduced the angels knowing that there is a fruit in that garden that if those angels give it to them they will get it they will have life they won't die again so so looking at so what we have as what is called witchcraft today is an an extreme knowledge that was perfected that was perfected and that has been used today and uh, uh, some of those women that must have eaten those fruit of life then or some of their men that they might have given the fruit of life then and those bastards of those angels uh, some of them might also be part of these people who call some of these demons we have today because when they ate it and yet we will now destroy their human body because they still need the body but you will now destroy the body so that means they are either the body is destroyed so their soul now is becoming living they are supposed to be, live forever but the body is not so there will be a living soul that uh, are kind of undying and they kind of moving around so so and I, I believe that is it so so they are also part of the demons and and they are one of the people responsible for most of these things witchcraft that we have today and those these uh, demons and all these things uh, so so these are so these are uh so things that so then so uh, so so what you call witchcraft is uh actually that extreme knowledge and even that extreme knowledge is actually manipulation of what Uyoiwa has put together. So it's kind of it's, it's extreme knowledge of how to manipulate things that have been the how to manipulate existence, uh, which is being upheld by Uyoiwa himself as Ojewa. So it, it shows that even the there's a percentage of uh, that even though there are all those angels, bastiding angels, and men that are bastiding, they still operate. They still operate the existence. That is, there's there's a right as man to manipulate existence. Yes, Oyoiwa is in is the Ojewa upon those existence, but as man, there's a level of things we can manipulate. Either we 
with, with God or we are not with Him. But it's just that at the, at the long run, you die and all those things you have gained, all those knowledge is useless, is wasted. But with those who are with Oyoewa, who are in Him, we who loved Him, who we are part of His kingdom, so we who are part of this kingdom, yes, through him we reign, we reign upon the head, and then in eternity we reign eternally with him. But for those who are not with him, they are condemned to eternal damnation. So, uh, so that's what I want to share. Uh, this uh, Sabbath is a uh, Shabbaton, Uyoyiwamo, the Sabbath day. That is Uyoyiwa Jowa. So as Ojewa, <coughs> Oyoiwa is in all things. Is the one upholding all things. Darkness, Oyoiwa is the one upholding the existence of darkness. Uh, so light is the one upholding the existence of light. So, and when we speak, so when we make a decree, when we make a decree, so it is he that is bringing it to pass. So he is the one moving those things that we decree, moving it to pass. So say we should command him. So we make a decree, he is the one, it is his presence as Ojewa that is bringing it to pass. So the Uyoiwa and the Ojewa. So, uh, so that, so, so that's, that, that name is the, is the, is the kind of, is, is the totality of who uh, Uyoiwa, uh, Uyoiwa is. Like Uyoiwa, Jehovah. So he's the one that brings them forth and he's the one that is still what? He's still in them, sustaining them. So even when they change from one form to the other, he is there, is in them. So it is just one form of him changing to another form of him. Now, he upholding unto the elementals, unto the elements as atoms, unto the molecules, unto the larger substance, and unto uh, living things. So now, but now, so if his existence that uphold the substance and the molecules into living things. If that one, if that existence should live, should depart, so that is when we said they are dead. So then, all those things he has put together, we break down back into what? Into a um, substance, into molecules and then, uh, and other substances. That are, that whose existence is still sustained by him. Because, uh, his existence in those one is not corrupt. He has not been corrupted. He has not uh, placed a cost of death on uh, on those ones. So those ones, those, they stay in that realm until they are co-opt again to form another living substance. Either when they are eating as uh, raw material, when, uh, nutrients, when they get into plants, then back into human being. So all these uh, things they they flow around. So, so it's is uh, that's so he, he is in everything. So Yoiwa is in everything. He is all in all. So without him, we are nothing. Without him, we are nothing. So I pray that Yoiwa we open, uh, we open our mind and we take this. We teach us deeper. I will show us deeper things about. We build upon this knowledge in our mind that when we read the scripture and when he's speaking to us. You'll be able to see the effect, the impact, the meaning of this. How far this go for you as a follower of God? How far this you open your mind that is the authority you have over existence? How far? He said you can command him and he's the one upholding this. So you can tell him and he will do it. So how far? When the enemy is coming and he's the one upholding, actually, so that's one of the depth of those things. Because I actually saw a revelation whereby it's me as if uh, there's somebody, a kind of a force and uh, waging war with me, kind of struggling. And then already my hands are already on this particular being and we are locked as if we're struggling with uh, power. And there's no other hand to use. But in that revelation, I just saw there is a kind of. I just look into the body, into the massive body of that uh, particular enemy. And of course, there's no physical hand, but there's a knowledge. There's, I, I just release a knowledge that, yes, since Jehovah is the one that owns this body, 
So I and Juba, I am one. And I am in Juba. And I am a consuming fire. Yes, Juba is a consuming fire. So like, so I, I just look into that part, into his part, part of his body. And I just call forth the presence of Juba there to become fire. And then fire broke forth. Even though to him he thinks he should be our hand are wedged. But then, this is more than hands. Our hand is more than the physical hand. Ujewa is our hand. It's a hand to Christians. It's a spiritual hand. It's our connection. So we are so we are connected to all the amassi, all those all the, no matter how big we inside 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 of them. The dead Uyoiwa is the one upholding it. And he said, Command me. So he's waiting. It's like our hand. But he's waiting to turn things around there. To turn those things around. And immediately it caught fire. So that is, uh, is who we are. That is who we are. Who we are. So who we are is just because of his Uyoiwa. Jehovah, because he is the Uyoiwa and he is the Ujewa. So it is who he is that it is on all, it is on him that uh, all this our all this spiritual prowess and all this our essence, all this all this the the extreme uh, the extreme authority that we have that the devil is afraid of and did not want God. It's because of that extreme authority. That's why he's afraid, not the extreme mortal glory of Uyoi to be manifested in us. So the high extreme is because of him. So that is why we cannot do without him. It is because of him. Because of he is Uyoiwa and he is the Ujewa. So when he is in us, we oh we are incredible. And that is why uh, the enemy is afraid. And he always try to make sure we are separated from Uyoiwa. And if we want to link us to also demons, useless demons, useless prophets, all those demonic prophets that are connecting men to water, connecting men to... So the devil prefer us to be connected to the sun, praying to sun, praying to all those useless things that, 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 uh, that, 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 are, that are limited. So rather than we being connected to the one who is Uyoiwa, Ujewa. Whereby we have authority over all existence. Whereby we are connected and we can change things. Because that brings us into us, make us a creator. I pray that the uh, spirit, the Ariwa Uyoiwa, the spirit of Uyoiwa, will breathe upon this world and upon this knowledge. Uh, by the spirit of Uyoiwa, go and no more receive light and triumph and break forth and i pray that everyone you bring glory unto the kingdom of Oyewa. this is a kingdom secret it's a kingdom secret so you bring glory to the kingdom of Oyewa upon the earth in the name of Yahshua, which is true humanity amen shall be your portion amen